Live from the Plymouth Canton Educational Park, you're listening to News File at 5.30 on 88.1 The Park. I'm Nadia, and in tonight's news, a PCEP choir will share the stage with college singers, and Santa is getting set to parade through Plymouth. Now, for the latest news that matters in your community. PCEP choir students will have the chance to perform alongside college musicians next Wednesday when the Encore Choir serves as the opening act at the Oakland University Jazz Singers Concert. Encore Choir members are students interested in jazz, pop, and musical theater. The group was invited to open for the Oakland University Jazz Singers after the college choir visited PCEP last spring. PCEP choir teacher Jonathan Lunneberg says this is a great opportunity for students to experience music at a higher level. It gives them a chance to see and hear what it's like to continue in studying music and singing and jazz at the next level, taking what they've experienced so far and giving them a glimpse of what they could do in the future if they continue on. The concert will be held on November 22nd at 7.30 p.m. at the Varner Recital Hall. Tickets are available for purchase at the door. More information is available at PCEPchoirs.com. Santa Claus is heading back to downtown Plymouth again later this month to help get people in the Christmas spirit during the annual Santa Parade. The parade will travel to 10 different locations in Plymouth. Santa will be joined by other Christmas characters like Buddy the Elf, the Grinch, and more. The PCEP choir will start the parade by singing in Kellogg Park. Plymouth Downtown Development Authority Director Sam Plymail says the residents have enjoyed Santa's parade through the town. Instead of just a big celebration in Kellogg Park, we decided to have Santa kind of process through the neighborhoods and wave to families in their houses on the parade route. Residents really enjoyed Santa's uh, parade through the entire town instead of just coming through the downtown area. The parade will take place on Friday, November 24th, starting at 530 in Kellogg Park. For more information, including the parade route and locations to visit Santa, visit downtownplymouth.org. Budget battles in Congress top our look at world and national news tonight. The House will soon vote on a Republican plan to fund the government and, a sh- and avoid a shutdown. The legislation would fund some government departments until mid-January and the rest through early February at current spending levels. The bill appears to likely to pass as it has the support of Democratic leadership and most Republicans. A group of conservatives, however, has come out against the measure due to a lack of spending cuts. The vote is a major test for Speaker Mike Johnson, who was elected to the role just weeks ago following the ouster of Kevin McCarthy. Congress needs to pass a bill by Friday to keep the government open. Unionized Starbucks baristas are planning to hold a major strike this week. Thousands of employees across the nation will hit the picket lines Thursday on the company's so-called Red Cup Day, a popular promotional event when Starbucks gives out holiday-themed reusable cups. Workers are accusing the company of refusing to fairly negotiate at cafes that voted to organize. Starbucks claims it's the union that is not bargaining in good faith. The March for Israel is drawing out tens of thousands of people to Washington, D.C. today. It's happening on the National Mall. The National Guard has been called in, but there are no reports of any violence so far. Meanwhile, officials in Gaza City are warning 3,500 people are stuck inside the largest hospital in the region because it's surrounded by Israeli troops and tanks. Former President Donald Trump will be on the Republican Republican presidential primary ballot in Michigan, despite his legal woes. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson has released the candidate list for both parties. For the Democrats, President Joe Biden, Dean Phillips, and Marianne Williamson are on the ballot. For the Republicans, it's Trump, Doug Burgum, Chris Christie, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Asa Hutchinson, and Vivek Ramaswamy. For News File at 530, I'm Nadia. Your look at campus news is next. Your place for Plymouth Canton Community Schools updates. It's campus news. In campus news, congratulations to the talented students and staff of the Plymouth Canton Marching Band, which advanced to the semifinals of the Bands of America Grand National Championships in Indianapolis this past Friday and Saturday. The PCMB was one of the two Michigan schools to make it into the semifinals this year, continuing a decades-long tradition of excellence. 
The band is one of two schools in the country who has never missed making it into the semifinals since the creation of Bands of America in 1975. The Park Players Theater Company will present a comedy of tenors this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. in Gloria Logan Auditorium at Salem High School. You can find more information at PCEPParkPlayers.com. Join the PCCS Student and Family Engagement Department tonight at 7 p.m. at the Penn Theater as Adam Arnold of New Hope Center for Grief Support presents Walking with Grief. Arnold will break some of the myths surrounding grief and loss and will provide insights and tools that can help. For Campus News, I'm Brody Klein. Your look at sports is next. As digital media continues to grow in popularity worldwide, Plymouth Canton Community Schools is excited to do its part by shining a light on the news and activities across the district with the launch of PCCS TV. PCCS TV is a new viewing experience hosted on the district's official YouTube channel. This free channel will give viewers an inside look at the exciting things happening around the district. Viewers will have the chance to take an inside look at the innovative learning going on in PCCS classrooms, go behind the scenes with the district's award-winning extracurricular offerings, and catch live-streamed sports, concerts, and arts performances. The channel will also feature local newscasts from our student radio station, 88 One The Park, and PCCS's Board of Education meetings. Existing subscribers to the district YouTube channel already have access to PCCS TV programming. To join the community of PCCS TV viewers, visit YouTube.com and search PCCS TV. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. It's time for News File at 530 Sports. University of Michigan head football coach Jim Harbaugh says he wants the chance to be able to appeal his three-game suspension enacted by the Big Ten Conference for sign-stealing allegations. Harbaugh says if he does not get that, Sharon Moore will remain as the acting head coach for the next two weeks. Harbaugh was suspended for the final three games of the season by the Big Ten Conference after being suspended for the first three games of the season this year by the NCAA. Michigan plays Maryland on Saturday. On the hardwood tonight, the State Farm Classic takes place in Chicago. The yearly event features four of the best college basketball teams in a two-game showcase. In the first matchup, the Duke Blue Devils take on Michigan State. Michigan State coming into the game at number 19 in the coaches' poll, dropping from number four after their season-opening upset loss to James Madison. The Pistons will try and put an end to their eight-game losing streak when they host Trey Young and the Hawks tonight at LCA. Detroit's skids stretch to eight with Sunday's 119-108 setback in Chicago. The Pistons are just two and nine on the season. The Red Wings are in Sweden right now for a pair of games this week. They'll face the Ottawa Senators on Thursday in Stockholm before taking on Toronto on Friday. The games are part of the NHL Global Series. The Wings are at eight, five, and two on the season following their win over the Columbus Blue Jackets on Saturday. For News Fallon 530 Sports, I'm John. Your look at traffic and weather starts right now. From M14 to I-94, your look at traffic starts now. Long-term construction projects continue to slow down our afternoon drive. I-275 northbound and southbound are still down to two lanes, but motorists should be aware that traffic has now been shifted to rebuilt the side of the freeway. Traffic is also delayed on M14 eastbound and I-96 westbound. That's all for traffic. Your look at weather is next. 88 won the park with your local weather forecast. We'll have another clear cold night tonight with a low of 31. Tomorrow will be sunny and milder with a high of 61. Right now in Plymouth Canton, it's 51 degrees under sunny skies. On your source for the best local news, 88 won the park. For John and Brady, I'm Nadia on News File at 530. Stick around, K-Poppin' is next, followed by Plymouth and Canton's hit music. 